Hey guys, I'm CMA Supra and I'm going to build a new computer today and I thought I'd make a few videos on the computer I'm building as well as the disassembly of my current one. Now I did make a computer building series about three years ago and it was absolutely terrible. So this one's going to be nothing like it and those of you who remember that series, I, I feel bad if you watched that. <laughs> so anyways, Let's go ahead and start off with what my current computer is. That is it. It's a uh, an LGA 1366 X58 computer. It's it's many years old. I don't know how old exactly it is, but it's many years old and the motherboard is dying and rather than replace the motherboard, I might as well just go ahead and upgrade because it's about that time. So here I have a whole bunch of new parts and this is what I'm going to be bu building for my new computer. So to start off with, for a CPU, I have an Intel i7-4930K, which is an LGA 2011 part, Ivy Bridge E. And then for my OS, Windows 8.1, I have a Samsung 840 Pro 512GB SSD. Over here is a 3TB hard drive in packaging. <laughs> I probably should have unpackaged it before the video, but oh well. And then we have Windows 8.1, and I'm not getting Windows 7 because I like all the, uh, I don't like the UI with Windows 8, but I like all the stuff they added behind the scenes. Like, it is just such a better OS behind the scenes than Windows 7 is, but just Windows 7 has a better UI. But the better UI is not enough for me. I went for Windows 8.1. Then over here we have, um, four, four gigabyte sticks of RAM, so 16 gigs total. I currently have 18 in that computer, but I only ever use like 10 at the most at one time, so 16 is enough. Over here we have the motherboard, which is an ASUS X79 Deluxe made specifically for Ivy Bridge E, as opposed to Sandy Bridge E, for those of you who know computer stuff. Then we have a Cooler Master V850 power supply. This is a Seasonic power supply, so it's quite good, and apparently uh, a lot of the KM3 Seasonics, which is what this is based on, had issues with coil wine. I am really hoping that this one doesn't have a wine on it. Supposedly it doesn't. Supposedly it doesn't wine. They fixed it. Cooler Master did themselves. But we will see. And then to cool the CPU, I have the Corsair H100. The H105 is on the market, but the H105 will not fit inside the Corsair 650D, interestingly enough. So. I am stuck using the H100i, which is probably for the best anyway. The cooler just fits more things. And it's tried and tested, while the H105 is brand new and has not really been tested yet. Um, so there are a few things missing here. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of hard drives missing, and a video card, and a case. I have already mentioned that I'm using the same case. Um, I fully intend to replace that case when I can afford it. But that's not yet, because I just don't have the money. But that case is actually quite messed up. Uh, I can show you what I mean. Uh, you see this gap right here? That is the door. Uh, I, I intentionally leave the door open because if I close it, it rattles. And it's a terrible noise. And also, the... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a gap right there under the foot. Because the foot is twisted from a time that I had to ship this computer across the country. So, the case is a little bit messed up. The side panel there also bulges out a little bit right here. You can see that gap, because I just have so many wires back there. But that's the case I'm going to use. Um, I thought about using the 800D, which is down there under the, under the cover, but I would have to buy a lot of parts to make the 800D work with these parts, and so... It's not really worth the money if I'm just going to replace the case anyway, eventually. So for a video card, um, this is not a new video card. This is the same one that's sitting in my current computer over there. This is a Gigabyte GTX 470 Super Overclock Edition. And uh, it has a custom cooler which makes it extremely quiet. Over here, I have a GTX 480 by PNY, as you can see which is more powerful than the 470, but the 480 is just stupidly loud because it has the reference cooler. And those of you who know computer parts from back in the 400 series from NVIDIA know that the 480 was the hottest card they've ever made in a long time. So 
The fact that it's so hot and it has a terrible cooler makes it extremely loud. So I have a 470 that is really, really quiet and I've been using it for many years. And it's currently in that computer. So that's what I'm currently using. Um, eventually, when I have the money for it, I'm going to buy a 780 for this computer. My intention was to buy the 780 for this build, but I don't have the money for it. 780 is 500 bucks and I'm 500 bucks short. Um, <laughs> So yeah, 470 it is, and the 470 is powerful enough for pretty much everything. But eventually, when I get the money, I will be built, and I will be putting a 480 in place of the 470 here. Or maybe I could even run them both, one for physics and one for other stuff. I don't know. That's actually a possibility I didn't think of before. But eventually, I will be getting a GTX 780. But for now, this is my entire build. Um... I'm still going to use a lot of parts that are sitting in there, uh, just like small things like cables, and I have six hard drives in there. I'm going to use four of them, I believe. Um, I don't really know yet. I did buy the three terabyte, like I said, and that's to, in that's to replace two two terabyte drives that are in there. And I should also be adding another drive in there for OS X, because it's going to be a Hackintosh. But um, yeah, this is my build. These are the parts. I guess the first thing I should do is go disassemble that computer. Side note, as you can see, today is February 7th, and my birthday is February 6th, and there's snow outside. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is, there is snow outside. Yeah, there's some. You can see that snow. So, uh, yeah, it snowed on my birthday, which was awesome, and apparently it's snowing once again. You probably can't see the snow falling, but it is, just very, very lightly. It just started snowing a couple minutes ago. So that was awesome. <laughs> now let's go disassemble this computer. Wait, I have more parts! So, uh, in front of there is a touchscreen fan controller that I've been using. It is absolutely terrible, but I'm going to use it again. And then there's also a DVD drive down there. And then finally, also down here, is an Intel CT Gigabit Desktop Ethernet Adapter. It's a tiny card right down there, plugged into a PCI Express slot. And that's just a, an Ethernet card, so I don't have to use the onboard Ethernet controller on the motherboard, particularly because the one on this motherboard died, like, a year ago. That's why I bought that one down there. So yeah, I think that's going to do the parts of this. No, wait, lights! green light that doesn't stick to the ceiling anymore. I have pads somewhere up here. Yeah, the pads are still up there in the top of the case, but it doesn't stick anymore. So now it just hangs there, and I never turn it on. But I'm still going to put them back in. Because <laughs> I'm persistent like that. Okay, now let's get to disassembling this computer.